here with the improv experience. We're up here. You guys gave us some suggestions for things that these guys are on the fly going to come up with, scenarios, and act these things out. We appreciate you being here. We appreciate you laughing. And if you have a good time, let us know. We have a Facebook group. You can check us out online. Um, Amanda is our wonderful Instagram liaison. She'll hook everybody up with any information that they need after the show is all over. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't thanks to the people at WPAA, Susan, all the people. Yeah. That one. Susan. What's behind doing in She's an absolute great to work with. All the people in the booth, Tom and Bruce, are excellent people to work with. This is a great crew. And we're all here just because they want to see the success. So I appreciate everybody being here. Um, if you're not familiar with Compass, we're an up-and-coming theater group. Um, we are a startup with uh, the point of doing Mixed Media Mondays here at Studio W. This is a new opportunity we've kind of started doing. We're doing workshops, we're doing live events, uh, just anything to bring the community involved into theater and the arts. So, if you don't know what improv is, you're about to find out. We're going to start with a quick game. Um, let's start with Jack and Alex, and as I ding, we're going to go down the line. We're going to start with questions only. So this game is a scenario that is only questions. You will ask one line if you repeat a question. If you do not ask a question, you'll get dinged out, and the next person in the seat will continue on and replace the person that gets dinged out. Is everybody looking at me with big old questions like we've never what? played this game? Awesome. Oh, absolutely. I love it. Everybody's involved. This is an ensemble, so if Jack fails and I ding him out, uh, Josh will come up. I forgot your name. Good thing you're not Vinny. <laughs> yes, sir. What is the concept of this game? Heck, I'm still in! The concept Good of... Job. Oh, he beat me to it. He got the question, and I... Case in point, that's how we play this game. You're out dinged out. Alex, oh, Jack, that's not fair. <laughs> top up fair. here, and you two start us off with a scenario that will evolve how you see fit at a movie theater. Questions only. Start us off, Jack. What is rating is this movie? What time does it start? Am I old enough to see this movie? Why are you asking me that? Why don't you just answer what the rating is? Why don't you check your wallet? And I have a large popcorn with extra butter. <laughs> Why would you think I would have popcorn? Isn't this where they serve the snacks? I thought this was a date. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Isn't this a date? When did you get that impression? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bring us to a porno theater? Why, you don't like it? How big is that? When did that come up? Do you think those are real? Why wouldn't they be? Why is the floor so sticky? <laughs> you, did you not... Sorry, Jack, I just had to get us away from that topic. <laughs> Go! Do you think this movie will be good? What time is your dad going to pick us up? <laughs> Do you think we'll actually get in? I mean, it's rated R and we're only... Was it really weird for you to ask your dad to drop you off at this X-rated movie? <laughs> <laughs> Sneak me through the back way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said! <laughs> Where did you come from? I am a fighting! It's fighting! Jack! <laughs> Why didn't you see me come in the, that way? Why didn't you come over from there? Why can't I come in whatever way I want? <laughs> Why don't we just forget it and I'm going to go sit back down? <laughs> yeah, it's something we've always learned when playing these games, that Jack can always come in whatever way he wants. That's true. Jack yeah, makes his own rules, and we appreciate yeah. that and love that about him. Uh, we got to give points to Jack for being the champ on that one. That's yeah. Jack, God bless you. Are we keeping Why score? are the floors sticky? I'm keep, I mean, it matters. Um, okay. It matters to me. Okay. <laughs> it's precious. It's a check mark on my notepad. <laughs> <laughs>
So we're going to move on to the next game, folks. We're going to do a very physical game, which is going to surely exhaust three of my friends, which is going to make them question their life choices and hate me forever. And I love how Vinny's eyes are rolling, and he's not even in it. Let's get Josh Dan and Mark up. Do we need the chair? Uh, you need one chair, because we're going to sit, up? stand, bend. Oh, at, no, points, at points, you're going to have to be up. The question game is over, gentlemen. We're going to play sit, stand, bend. And it looks like our three gentlemen already get it. If you are in the audience and you don't get it, it's very simple. At one point, at any point, one of these gentlemen needs to be sitting, one needs to be standing, one needs to be bending. And if one stands, another must sit to accommodate, and vice versa. Yeah. But this shit doesn't happen all the time or anything, and it's certainly not hilarious. So, thanks to some of our fantastic audience suggestions, these three gentlemen are going to be on a camping trip. So, Dan... You are the surly, gruff dad teaching his two boys all he knows about camping. <laughs> so, gentlemen, whenever Josh decides he's going to sit, stand, or bend, I'm that's bending. Done. That's a bend? That's a bend! Look at this! Go, gentlemen, go. Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! How do you pitch a tent? Do you start with this rope right here, just tie it on this thing in the middle? Ooh! Oh, I'll be... No, that's not how you do it. See, what, what you need to do is... no. See, what you need to do is you need to grab two sticks like this, and then see, what you do is you take the sticks and you rub them together. But that, See, you no, always say don't rub my sticks What together. do you do with this thing? Do you put it around the rope, or do I no, use it as a blanket? No, I told you boys not to rub each other's sticks together. There's a difference. Oh, what? Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know what all this is going to do. See, now, what did I tell you about that, little Jimmy? This is why your mother left. My name's Little Jimmy. I'm gonna go over here. My name's Little Jimmy. Yeah. Okay. That's so the, why mom left. So the trick oh. about camping is, after you make the fire, next we have to go fishing. And the easiest way to just take go fishing is first you have to use our poles. <laughs> but we got in trouble last time. Wait a minute. That's yeah. because you were doing it at church. And what did I tell you about that? Someone asked me if I had Jesus worms. I said yeah, there. but I was going anyway. Okay. So we've got the fire. Okay. We've got the tents. We'd have to fish. Now, now. <laughs> Make up your mind! I'm trying, kids. I don't know what to do that. Okay, so what do we do if bears come? Now, that is the most important question. Who's faster than the slowest person? Who would be the slowest person? Well, you got it. Well, your brother Jimmy's slow, but not like that. What? So. Yeah, well, I should be safe because a bear always, a bear, a bear always shits in the wood. <laughs> Wait, no, he's sitting in the woods. Oh, he's squatting. No wonder he's Wait, are you standing or are you bending right now, Jimmy? I don't know. It. I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit out of shape. You know what? This is this is ridiculous. I, I'm, I'm gonna, never going. I'm going to oh, sit. Oh, Dad, I, I am going to sit and think about what I'm doing. I, wait, two of them are sitting up. This is it. We're done. I'm going home. This is why camping leads to therapy. <laughs> Injury, and I think that the three of them just got one. I know. <laughs> I know. That was very, very cool. I am what yoga's for? I know. Okay, so our next game, we're going to have Amanda, please join me. And get out. Cool. Because we're going to do the dating game. Oh. Woo! Yay! So we need Amanda's ears closed, and we need to allocate three of our lovely dates for this upcoming dating game. And again, Thanks to your audience suggestions. Amanda, can you hear me? Amanda, I hate you, Amanda. Perfect. <laughs> uh, all right, so for the dating game, let's have Alex, Jack, and Vinny all pull your chairs up. Have a seat. Let's see who's going to be Vinny. Go that way. And then, oh, what am I doing? Can somebody bring a chair up? Uh, yeah, I got it. When she's ready. Thank you, Dan. Um, Oh. Ow. Vinny, you're goofy. Sitting's hard. I know, but oh my <laughs> Vinny, you're goofy. Okay. <laughs> what? Don't Jack, you're on sugar. Looks on everything. Okay. So what's the time? Jack, Jack is a child with a sugar guy. Right. And oh, wait. what was Jack, Jack actually? You're Harry Potter. Oh, oh. Thank hey, you, sure. audience, for your sure. 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 I want to know. Who was Jack? Jack is a uh, child on a sugar high. Okay. All right. We all got it. Playing to character. Amanda! <laughs> yeah? Come on back. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome to the stage our lovely bachelorette, Amanda, standing four foot two. With hair of green, Amanda, you are the lovely bachelorette here. Thank you for joining us here on Let's Make Them Squeal, the dating game for absolute pigs. Amanda, why don't you introduce yourself to us and tell us a little bit about who you are. Well, I'm unemployed, so I don't see any other people than this improv department. So I don't really see many eligible people. There are not very many eligible people in the world at all. And believe me, being unemployed and a girl, you'll do very fine on Tinder. Amanda, we're going <laughs> to introduce you to our guests one by one. Amanda, introduce yourself to Bachelorette number one and ask them a question. Uh, hi, Bachelorette number Hello. one. Hello! Hi! Uh, <laughs> don't touch the bachelors. That's dangerous. Oh, I can't? Okay. That would explain why the chairs are so far apart. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelorette number one. <laughs> um, do you have a fascination with tattoos? I'm really interested in tattoos. Only if they're on your left upper forearm. Oh. <laughs> Weirdly specific. <laughs> That's a very interesting location for a tattoo. I know my brother has a tattoo there. I personally don't. <laughs> Maybe it's because they didn't touch it right to appear. Huh. That could be. I'm kind of squeamish, so like needles aren't really my thing. Ladies, let's wait until date number two to talk about touching things and making things appear. Amanda, <laughs> why don't you ask our second bachelor a little bit about themselves? Uh, bachelor number two. Hi! Hi! <laughs> How are you? Boy, I'm getting tired. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been a long day. Mm-hmm. Well, what kind of movies do you like to go see? Oh, boy. Um... My mom doesn't take me to the movies very often because she says whenever I have sugar, I get really, um, I, I do things I'm not supposed to, so, and there's nothing but sugar, and I like sugar a lot, and, uh, like, oh my god, lots of candy. Oh, that, <laughs> candy is one of my favorite I, things. Oh my god, candy is the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Amanda, we learned a lot about how much Bachelor number two likes candy and pretty much nothing else. Ask Bachelor number three something about themselves. Well, Bachelor number three, I am fascinated by books. What's the last book you read? Oh, wow. Well, geez, <laughs> gosh. Oh, uh, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, it was a great little book. Ooh. Don't remember it too well, but, but it was pretty good. I think my dog might have ate it, though. Oh, well, that's too bad. I know my dog eats a lot of books, too. Bachelorette number one, do you want to talk to our lovely first bachelorette again, Amanda? Uh, well, bachelorette number one. Hang on. I feel like I'm seeing something in my head. feels like it's splitting open. Oh. Uh, I don't have any... Advil or Tylenol, I need to help you with that piercing <gasps> headache. Did it go away? Are those your house colors? No, no. I'm a Hufflepuff, but I like green. <laughs> Mandy, you're on the right track. Do you want to take some guesses as to who our lovely bachelorettes might be? Well, bachelorette number one. Are you Harry Potter? I'm the chosen one. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, bachelor number two. Are you a five year old hyped up on sugar? I'm a robot. I'm a robot. I'm talking like a robot. <laughs> I would take that as a yes. <laughs> Even though he said he's a robot, he is actually a five-year-old robot. No, I'm a robot. That's robot. <laughs> Back up, robot. You lost. Are you a robot, she got five year old. Wow, where'd everybody go? I know they just keep vanishing. They 
Yes. Operating. Well, I guess that just leaves you, uh, red <laughs> Why don't you ask him another question? See if maybe you can figure out who he is. Red neck. <laughs> um. What is your favorite type of movie? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Favorite type of movie. Oh. Well, I I have to say, ooh, what was the best one? Hmm. It would have to be ooh, that one that, that had Mickey in it, and he was um. Oh, he's one of my best friends, too. Oh, I can't remember it. Jeez, maybe my dog might have no idea. Mm-hmm. He's a little dog, and it's, it's kind of ironic in a way that I have a dog. Now that I think about it. Uh, well, you know, Goofy, you are one of my favorite of the gang. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done, Goofy. He's the dog. He's the dog. I don't think clear he's his own dog. Ever established throughout all this. Gooby is an anthropomorphic dog who has earned the right to speak because he's tall. Mm. And Pluto is on all four legs, so he cannot speak. And Goofy gets hey, to wear listen, pants. However they want to handle things in their society, that's Pants okay, do not make <laughs> you... In, we don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just make it clear that pants do not a character make. Really? Because Donald and Winnie... Oh. Both don't wear pants. But they, <laughs> but they do wear towels when they shower. Stop perpetuating the canine patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Alex and Jack, Josh and Dan, jump on up for me and we're going to play a new game called Action Figures. Oh. Woo! Jack cannot move his body. Dan cannot move his body. Oh, damn it. Reverse that. Alex is going to move Jack's body. No. Yeah, no. Switch it. Oh, Jack injury. Oh, right, right. Jack, 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 move, Jack move Alex's body because okay. Jack. I just got done saying 20 minutes ago, had a back injury, <laughs> and I am mindful of those things. <laughs> We're going to have Dan move Josh. Are you going to Josh Jackie and Alex cannot back. move of their own volition. They cannot move any part of their body but their lips. Yeah. They are going to conduct... Yuck, stop moving your lips. Yes, just okay. one moment. You can move your lips more than I can in two seconds right, so once you know that Josh is Indiana Jones <laughs> fighting against a mad scientist. This is your audience. This is your audience telling you to do this, Chris. I appreciate all of you. Indiana Jones fighting against the mad scientist. Josh and Alex can't move their body on their own. Dan and Jack have to do that for them. You call him Dr. Jones! We can talk, though, right? Missed opportunity. (laughs) And when you're ready. You'll never have the heart. It'll be mine for the people. I have the heart made of plutonium! Right Ah, here! You won't be able to call him on your way out of this one. (laughs) Oh, yeah, I got a boulder that came out of midair because I Whip! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh! I'm eating your boulder! You made me eat my boulder pieces! <laughs> yes, and now you're defeated! For I will take you on oh, a yeah, well, combat! Oh yeah, That's right, ah. I got your whip! I got your whip! Ah, I'm stabbing you with your whip! Ah. Oh no! Oh, my whip's disintegrating! Ah! Ah! Wait. Why is it cotton candy? Ah! It's the power of the crystal ah. skull! The cotton candy crystal cotton skull. Cotton candy crystal skull. Oh, it's so sweet. I it's can't. for the children. Wait, can I please just have some? I want to be good. I guess. Join me. Good. Join me in goodness in the sugary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to be good. Indy, will you help me be good? I can. I can only dream. Oh no! The rocks are coming again. We'll have to ah! run. Wait! Oh no, I'll uh, save you! Wait! I'll sacrifice myself! And my give me left leg! Quick, there's uh, in the way of the boulder so I can. Okay! Uh, uh, I'm I'll miss you. Dead. I'm just saving Vinny from the inevitable trampling that is about to be. There is a Vinny there. He's very good at melting in. Vinny gets a point for that round. I, I lost track of points on the last one, but this Ooh. round, yeah, Vinny gets, gets a point. So way to go, Vinny. It would help if it hadn't been like six years since I've watched Indiana Jones. That's, that's yeah, intention. Indiana Jones is timeless. He's scared of snakes and has a hat. And Kalima. Which, which you nailed. Kalima! It's a oh, satchel. Shut it is a satchel. And Indiana Jones uses one. 
We are and going the reason he on. shot that one guy in that scene was because he was sick and didn't feel like his okay. back hurt. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Learn something new every day. I, I bet there's a lot of people that already knew that, but I am ignorant of Indian Indiana. It's, it's a pretty well known fact. Beautiful. We're going to move on forward to our next game called Line Change. This is for Dan and Vinny. They're going to have a short two person scene. Um, every time I ding the bell, after you've just said a line, you're going to reiterate that line <laughs> with a new tone, a new point, a new inflection, or a completely new line altogether. But that line has to change. I used to yell change at you, but now I have a bell, thanks to Jack. So when I ding the bell, you're going to change your most recently spoken line. Um, and Vinny, you are an FBI agent conducting a drug bust. You're ready. Hey, uh, <laughs> what you what you doing there? <laughs> Nothing. Wow. Um, <clears throat> that's uh, you either got a problem or you that was a like powdered donut coming out of your mouth. <laughs> that was like uh, crack coming out of your mouth. Wasn't it? <laughs> it was actually. It was. Yes. Right. Okay. You got you got any? I can do some. <laughs> Not unless that shirt stands for. Federal Boob Inspector stands for Fathers Bringing Iguanas, stands for Feathers Billowing Incognito. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I had this on. FBI. Yeah, so it's there, huh? I got one of those in spring break in 1987. Yeah. Um, um, I was three. It was awkward. No, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, well, anyway, so now that you, uh, you figured it out, nice so, um, um, you, um, yeah, I, uh, I don't know how I feel about selling drugs to a federal agent. To a nun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing, I know I forgot about the FBI trip, but I'm not wearing the nun this time. Yeah, anyway. So, uh, no, what I meant, I, I thought you figured that I'm an FBI agent and you just admitted you're, you, you, you drugs. You just admitted to some really weird things during spring break. You just admitted that um, you don't know what FBI stands for. It, it's true, I don't. Um, I mean, I don't know about you, but I just sort of woke up here. And um, <laughs> I, I don't normally sell drugs to FBI agents. I usually prefer to give them away for free. Is that um? Is that a pile of your vomit? Is that a pile of your disgusting drool that you were sleeping on the ground with? That yes. is really disgusting. Yes. <laughs> you, 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 yes. Had a, wow, you must have had a really bad time with that drug. I, I did. See, the thing is, when I was a little kid, I didn't really go to D.A.R.E. I didn't really go to astronaut camp. I didn't really graduate from drug dealer school. Ah. So that's why I'm here at spring break in the 80s, apparently, selling drugs to, I, I still don't know, but like... Federal Bureau of Investigation. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Yeah. Oh, okay. So are, are you going to actually buy something? Well, no, it's going to arrest you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, okay. Well, uh, I wasn't expecting that answer. Uh, uh, let me see. I, I've got some drugs You've around here. You've never heard of corruption in the I, government? I, I've, I've got drugs around here somewhere. Um, I, I've got drugs under this pile of weasels. Um, see, it's, it's easier than a guard dog. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, so let's see. I've got uh, booger sugar. I've got uh, the smelly jelly. Um, I've got the um, those fermented banana peels. Those will send you to the moon and back. Uh, let's see. I just went, you want to go up? You want to go down? You want to go left? You want to go right? You want to see spots? Spots. Triangles, yeah. actually. I want to see the moon. I just want to see. I can't see. I'm totally blind. Oh, you need the glaucoma medicine. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> very, very, very nice. Fantastic. Holy.
fantastic. You know, there's a lot to be said for just playing improv games with your friends, but there's a lot more to be said for fucking with Vinny. And God, I love it! Oh, me life! <sighs> one day, one day they'll kill me, and they'll no, never believe you. <laughs> nah, they will. This is on tape. <sighs> yeah, they'll, they'll blame you. Credit cards. <laughs> Next game, we're going to do Party Quirks. We're going to do what we did to Amanda last time. We're going to kick her out because she's hosting a party. <gasps> Woo! Party. It's going to be a fun party. Our party, party guests. Party. Our recreational sodas. Mandatory. Our party guests are Josh, Alex, and Jack. Give me one second, because I need to figure out my last person here. The J sandwich. Aww. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Worst places. <laughs> Amanda, you can't hear me tell you that I hate your guts, right? Fantastic. <laughs> Jack, you're an intoxicated clown. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are... Yeah, but what's he doing at this part? Tonight he's <laughs> uh, intoxicated but playing a clown. Alex, you're Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, for those grapes. <laughs> you're Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. Handle it. Amanda! <laughs> Amanda, come on and host this party. We got to boogie down. Sweet. I love to party. You're first. I'll yeah, bring you in. Alright, party time, party time. Go here. Oh, honk honk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hi. So funny. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, can I some water for that cough? I, uh, I got some water right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's well, not water. <laughs> oh dear. Well, you're all set. Being Would you like a balloon? Uh, uh. Hi, I guess I left the door open. Hello. <laughs> oh, your hair. Oh, oh, we've got it. Beautiful, beautiful. Hi, yeah. baby. Oh, <laughs> Good, how about you? Have you heard from my ex lately? No. Writing letters to you with all his books and dramatic things. You know, exes, they could be so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've got a nice door here. I'm gonna take it with me when I go, because there's a house down the street, it's a very bad door, and everyone needs to have a good door. And when you have a good door, <laughs> and they don't have a good door, we need to make sure that's equal across the board. I also brought some individuals with me, they'll be coming into the party, but how you doing? Good, but if you take my door to give it to them so they have a good door, I have no door. But you so have such this lovely house, that's all you really need. But oh, I can't drinks. protect it without a door. Now. I think this party was BYOP. Let me see what I got down here. Do you have presidential aspirations? Well, I got a memo that it was actually a little bit. But it's only because the people really need someone to change. I got some rum. I got some wine and beer. And I got... I'm just saying the election was Oh, I got a balloon in on the wall. Wow, Christy the Clown is close enough. Christy the Clown is good. Christy, get on out of there. You got two more people to guess. Yeah. He's no Kennedy. Oh my gosh, it's super great! <laughs> oh. Okay, so, Marilyn, you can't be running around to any air conditioning vent and calling it super great. I'm really sorry. Oh Whatever, God. I'm classic! Oh we keep these parties at a certain level. All I'm saying is that I had it. She, oh, if they hadn't given her the questions beforehand, I would have done great on the debate, and I would have really had a chance to turn America around. Well, you know, I'm not really into politics, so... Everyone's into politics. Politics is into you. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta redistribute all the wealth. 
health care for everyone, health care for the goats, universal goat health care. <laughs> Universal Go Health Care is going to help her guest Bernie Sanders, but that is a that, fantastic. You didn't say Universal Health Care. You didn't like I'm it. sorry. I jumped the gun. I'm sorry, man. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh, Minus points for the host. Oh, Fuck you. Hey, go ahead. Fuck you. 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 I deserve that. I deserve that. I owned up to it. Minus Amanda, points. My sincerest apologies, my dear. I think I can't do a Bernie voice. God, that Bernie was good. Like, At a certain point, Bernie Sanders was almost Tony the Tiger. Yeah! And a little bit of Richard Nixon. So it was a little bit of Richard Nixon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little tricky there. Yeah. See, I was taking both Nixon's political stances and Tony the Tiger's political stance, because really they're the back end to Bernie's political aspirations. If there was. If so there in other words, they're great. Right. He's right. got it! Oh, that's Tony, that's that's Tony, that's Tony the Tiger. The next game we're going to do is called World's Worst. We haven't done this one in a while, and this is just as you feel it. Get up and run up to the stage. You guys know how to play this game. We're going to do World's Worst, and when I give a topic, one of my lovely people is going to jump up in the center stage and give us an example of the World's Worst version of that. Simple enough. So as we go, I'll ding the bell to indicate a new bell round. First up, World's Worst. Unorthodox substitutions in place of guard dogs. Pile of ferrets! <laughs> I don't think I should have bought this attack octopus. <laughs> now, the dude on Craigslist said these children could watch my stuff, but they're just sitting in this crib. <laughs> Former college student! <laughs> okay. Um, but why are you dressed like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Unlikely portals to another dimension. Ah! I think... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I'm terrified. <laughs> I was peeing. <laughs> I'm a millionaire! All right, got to study for this. <laughs> Uh, pin number, ATM card. <laughs> 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 ah! Alright. If Yoda acted in a Shakespearean play. If what? Who? Yoda. Negligence, this is I! <laughs> in Persian text, this is. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Bad occasions to hire a barbershop quartet. <laughs> well, we'll miss Sean Murray dearly. <laughs> but in his memory, <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> Filing for divorce and to sing you all the alimony you're going to be paying. <laughs> you got put in the penalty box. <laughs> you Suck is a hockey player. <laughs> now the term downsizing has a negative connotation, so musical barbershop. <laughs> okay, what spiders are actually afraid of? What spiders are phobic? Spiders are actually. We're afraid of spiders. What are I will put this can of spider killer right in front of it. Charlotte's dead. Oh, oh my god! Deep man! Oh my god! Is, is that another spider dressed up like a clown? <laughs> Why does that dude dress up in red and black and shoot webs? He's just making a bad name for all of us. People. <laughs> Taxes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All spiders are weird. Weird, weird <laughs> things to blackmail someone with. Weird things to blackmail someone with. <laughs> it wasn't the dog, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you did on your history final. Oof. I saw which direction you put that toilet paper on. The shame will be known. <laughs> 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 
You know what you do on Monday nights. <laughs> Jeez. You know, you could pay me a nice sum of money because, you know, no one has to see those photos of you when you were going through your Limp biscuit phase back in the 90s. <laughs> Self-fulfilling prop, the city shack. <laughs> People you don't want to see naked. And if anybody walks over here, I'll kill you. As Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> Your parents. Oh no, I have no question. <laughs> Your grandparents. <laughs> Signs, That's... signs that your coworker may be trying to kill you. I, I mean, I appreciate the coffee, but does this taste a little like antifreeze to you? <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, could you do me a quick favor and get that slip and slide off the roof? Nice <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 birthday here. Oh wait, my coworker got me a birthday card. Let's see here. What does it say? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so all you gotta do is just get into the baler and pull that box down, and when you hear it go, eh, you you've done it right. Uh. <laughs> Number of days since last accident. Wait till three p.m. <laughs> Bad ways to propose marriage. <laughs> Ooh, I've done this once before. At all. Public service announcements you'll never hear. <laughs> I got Vinny going. Hi, I'm Ned Lamont, and I'm here to lower your taxes. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Brutes. Brutes. Rejected show horse names. Prize winning show horses. Rejected names for prize winning show horses. <laughs> Spanky McTrippins. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Frangis McBasketball. <laughs> Horse is ours. Ah! Sea gravy. <laughs> Blue factory. Aww. Aww. Very nicely done. Excellent game, folks. Very nice. You guys can sit. Good job. That was fun, and we learned a lot about ourselves. <laughs> and I'm feel, scared. I feel closer to a lot of you now. I would like to Can we change that? that? I'd like to be further. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the plan. Next game we're going to do is superheroes. This is a personal favorite of mine because we all get to screw with each other as we go on down the line. So, Amanda, you are going to be our damsel in distress leading our big <laughs> charge. So, Amanda, oh, jump on up. Can we get the audience to shout out a precarious, messed up situation to put Amanda in as if her life depended on it but would not normally be seen on a dramatic television show? Let's not do something basic like she's tied to train tracks. Let's do something messed up like a slalom of mayonnaise is rushing down a mountain at her. What was that word? Slalom? A slalom. A slalom. It's a word. You're is stuck in strawberry shortcake. She is Ooh. stuck ah. in strawberry yes. shortcake. All right. I Excellent. I like it. And there are worse ways to die. So Amanda is dying like slowly in a big pool of it. strawberry shortcake. We're going to bring in our superheroes one by one. Mark, Dan, and then Vinny. In that order. Mark is going to be our first superhero on the scene. Once Mark arrives, Amanda is going to appropriate a superhero persona to Mark. So Amanda, start thinking about a fun superhero that Mark could portray and down the line Mark is going to appropriate one for Dan and Dan will give a very flattering and kind superhero to Vinny assuredly. So Amanda <laughs> why don't you start us off by almost dying. Oh no not the oven come on. Uh, will someone help me already? Don't say help. Mr. Sing everything he says man. Please, I'm, I'm stuck in this strawberry shortcake. What is your problem? I'm stuck in this strawberry shortcake. And I love strawberry shortcake. Except for when I'm trapped in it. Why are you trapped? Guys, I fell into this giant bed in the factory and now it's headed into the oven and I don't want to die. You might be screwed. Oh, I don't know. Is there somebody here in need of help? Hi. 
coffee caffeinated man. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So the first thing we need to do is, um, wow, what is that, a cake? Oh, wow, what is that? That's shiny right over there. Oh, strawberries. That is so great. You know what would be great with that? Whipped cream. I want whipped cream in my, in my coffee. And, that's and I want... Uh, oven right over there? Oven. Oh, hot coffee. That is so good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to need to do is, oh, my God, where's my Starbucks cart? Okay, okay. So I so, love uh, Starbucks. Oh, oh, my God. Thank God. I've been so distracted. Thank God you're here can only say words that start with the letter B, man. <laughs> bonus. Yes, bonus. Bonus coffee for everyone. Okay. So wait, wait. She's getting closer to the oven. It's heating. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, why did you end up in a strawberry shortcake to begin with? What? Shortcake. Wait, wait, wait. He's singing and wait. Oh my God. Buns. 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 Buns don't go with buns. coffee. Buns. But you know what does? Strawberry shortcake. Wait, I got it. Guys, let's all get some spoons and then we can eat the strawberry shortcake. Better then... idea. Coffee <laughs> goes good with shortcake. Oh my god, that's right. You know better. what else? Go... Better. Be just... Better? No, no. Be Nothing is better than coffee. Not... Butter better. He mixed it. Butter biscuits. He put the butter in the oven before no, it can no. go in the oven. Coffee. 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 <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's Guys, go. I'm not let's in the go. oven anymore, but it's still in the cake. Anyone want to help? Hum, 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 hum. Vinny oh, saved the day with bagels. Vinny saved the day with bagels. That's fantastic. <laughs> Mark actually is the one. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate that. I lost that. I just, we just so, left you there to die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark actually ate the <laughs> strawberry shortcake away from her. I had to find a fine way to phrase that. Yeah, I know, so did I. I almost did it myself. Oh, that could have, yeah. I yeah, know where you were going with that way. one. Let me just do some quick math here. And uh, Dana, can you crunch the numbers on this for me real quick? Mark wins! Mark wins the game, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I got a recount. Point. We'll do a recount after we do the voice. final game. <laughs> How That's I it. Know. Mark wins the game, so Mark, let's give him a round of applause. Someone split the votes! <laughs> As a punishment. Okay. As a punishment, Mark, you have to do a scene with me. Yay! Uh, you want to? Oh, you want to give him out? I had to My stop love. from Green. Mark. You you pick. Pick one. Oh. Pick one. Okay, so it doesn't this matter which game, is which. We're gonna describe it as we go. This game is called Character Swap. Now, Mark and I have our baseline personas. You've met me throughout the course of the night. You probably in your life will never meet the real Mark Massey because he's always got a cartoon masking who he is. But Mark, give us your baseline just as you're talking to somebody at a job interview. How are you doing, Mark? How are you, sir? Oh my god, he's normal. Folks, that is rare. That Remember, is I played Oberon, so this was, uh, you know. So we're going to start our oh, I don't routine know. with our characters like that. But we have two characters picked up by Dana that when she dings the bell, we're both going to switch to the next character in our succession. So we're both gonna switch. Mark, are you ready for that? Cause that's gonna be crazy for us, but we both have characters and- That's gonna be down, crazy so for fun. us, he says. Um, <laughs> Dana, do you have a scenario for us or do you want me to use the one I got? Use the one you have. Mark, I'm pulling you over on a routine traffic stop. <laughs> Roll the window down. <laughs> Roll the window down, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. How are you doing? Hello, officer. Yeah, how are you? Do you know how fast you're going? Um. Do you want cream on the top of that that drink while you're here at the drive-thru window? Because I can just pass it right through. <laughs> or is is is? What do you need, sir? Well, I won this car from a great show. I actually gave it out. I was fabulous. That sounds great. No matter how fabulous you were, I really need seven dollars for the single coffee, sir. So we can move it along. Oh, good thing you are! I used to perform right in front of the king! He was so happy until I did something a little over the top. You love story. Yes! Story. Absolutely! Let me get out of the car here and let me just sit on top of it and explain what I have done! The land of make-believe is somewhere that someone driving 112 miles per hour would hanging out, sir. Why am I standing up on top Get back in the car, I'm sir. So Why are you standing on the car? I am not. Oh, like no, 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 God, please. It's I have a scone for you now. I love scones. <laughs> the 
that's all it is. It's fourteen dollars because you got the coffee. It's like a package deal. You pay seven for the coffee and then fourteen for the scone. It's oh well. Let me see if I have some money right in my wallet. No. We're in good oh, company. Just come my, in my goodness. Why are Tell me you're looking at me. Like Why that? are you in the back seat of my car? Well, you put me back here. I did not put anyone back here. Listen, if you're not going to pay for the coffee and the scone, you got to get out because the free Wi Fi gets soaked up by all the denizens sitting in the back alley. I'm kind of a big deal. Extra. A big deal, huh? So far, so good. Yes, I am kind of a big deal. Yeah, the car. <laughs> I am in the car. You're in the car with me. I don't know how that happened. Mark? Yes? Now that I have you in the car. Yes? You're under arrest, dude. I'm sorry. What? Oh, no! <laughs> Thank you. I suppose I should have told you our personas. Can anybody yeah. in the audience guess our personas? Mark was Oprah. Oprah? Yeah. You got, oh my god, the second one. Okay. And, oh, was that? And Roger Rabbit? Yeah. No, Roger no, Rabbit. It wasn't was, it was the King Candy. It, it wasn't was, King Candy. Oh, it sounded like his, you guys I used his voice her. because of the only thing. Okay. Not that um, I was. Does anybody in the audience know? Oh, the. Good answer. The Bad yeah. Hatter's yeah. assistant. No, not the, Mar not the March Hare, but I used King's Court because I used to perform in front of him. Uh, oh, Jester. Dear Court Jester. That's why I wanted okay. to throw that in. Is that a barista. good voice for a Jester? I couldn't think of anything That's else other than that. That's would get a Jester killed, though. Can, can, any, yeah. in evil times. can anyone guess what Sean's were? Because I don't know. I can guess. Well, you have the answers. I know. <laughs> well, obviously, Barista. A Starbucks Barista, yeah. That was one yeah. of them. That, that one was easy. That's he asked for The other one was a little bit hard, and it kind of transitioned. A anyone have a up. guess? Any guesses? Mr. Come Rogers. Here. What? Oh, Mr. Rogers. Oh, see, there neighbor. wasn't much difference between your Sean and Mr. Rogers. Well, is nice. that's I've, just because I'm so You need a trolley in a nice neighborhood. It's a heck of a day in the neighborhood. Well, guys, I had a really good time bringing this to you. I really appreciate you guys coming out and showing some support. Um, this is going to be recorded by the lovely people in the booth, the lovely people at Studio W and WCAA. Once again, a round of applause for them. Uh, we appreciate you, and Dan's going to robot us out of here because that's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. It's Halloween. Ooh. Ooh.